Hello! Hello, beauties. Hello. Welcome back to another episode. Of an episode. <laughs> it's your host, Felicia and Rowena. And today's, yeah, it's going to be a lot more casual. Mm. We're going to start going live once a month. And from today's episode specifically, we'll be talking about some skincare favorites. Yes. Empties, as well as merchandise. <laughs> and we'll also be sharing with you guys some self-care wellness tips of, you know, things that you know, a lot has been going on around the world. And we just want to talk about what we've been doing while at home. Yeah. Like drinks, books. How yeah. we've been connecting with family, like just thoughts about how we've just been living. Because I think everyone needs to still connect, especially when we're so isolated now, which is why we're really excited to come on and do a live with you guys. Come back so your beautiful head is not okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that for those of you joining, we are going to run through Rowena's favorite empties or close to empties. Close to empties. So basically products that she's been using over the last couple of months to the yeah. point where it's like almost out. So you know it's a favorite. Yes. Especially for us because we go through so many different products and trying it. Yeah. It's very rare that we finally finish an entire product. Or it's like we go back to it so much that it's just tried and true. Tried and true, exactly. With like all the products that are out there and all the products that we have, if you keep going back to one or a few, it really means that it's a good, good one <laughs> <laughs> and even the one she's gonna mention here um it's like really it's good for all skin types for the most part and i've talked about all of these already so mine's gonna be quick and then yeah. felicia's gonna go through her current finds yeah new skincare that she's found that she's been loving yeah so a little bit of the old a yes. little bit of new introduce you guys to another line that we've got sent actually yes. and i tested it out so i'll give you my thoughts there it's called clearly basic so some of the brands we'll be mentioning are crave amore pacific paula's choice and holly frog because some of you guys in the comments also asked about it because i think you know with like social media it really does a good job in hyping up a lot yeah. of products and so we start seeing it like everywhere in the skincare world so we'll give you our thoughts on just one of them because I've only been using it. And before we jump into it, let's engage with you guys a yes. little instead of just bulldozing through. Hi. Hi, hi. Thank you for everyone joining. The only issue is I can't see the comments. <laughs> Should I wear my Wait, glasses? You can just bring your laptop closer. Okay. <laughs> we both have laptops, so when she's talking, I'll be looking at comments and vice versa. And so where's everyone tuning in from? Oh Let's God. first start with that. Yes, thank you all. The, the most icebreakerist of questions. questions to start every live with. <laughs> no, it's a real question. Now that because we're all at home, it's yes. like, is it in whoa, the middle whoa. of the night? Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Sydney, Portugal, Ireland, South, South Africa, Africa, California. California. Texas, okay. Korea, Canada, Colombia. You guys oh are Oh my crazy. goodness. Wow. Hello. <laughs> From around the world. Really. I'm shook right now. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you, we hope you guys are really doing well, no matter where it is you are. We're like actually always thinking of you guys yeah. in terms of like how we can better create more content um, no matter where you are. It's very applicable. Yeah. You know, like especially moving forward, we do a lot of skincare, but what we care about really is mental well-being, health, um, the within and, part of Beauty Within. Right! So we're going to be digging into that a lot more in the coming videos. Yeah. Yes. So if you guys even have topics that you're curious about that has to do with the mind, the body, nutrition, food, drinks, make sure you leave any ideas. All ideas are welcome um, in the comments. You know, drop us uh, messages in our Instagram. We're always there. We're literally always on um, so shall we get into the skincare routine? Yes, and one thing you guys can help with, if you want to keep an eye on the comments and if people are asking questions about like good pimple patches or product recommendations, and mm -hmm. we can't see it, if you guys do see it and have recommendations, recommend. feel free to community. Correct. <laughs> community just turned into a just community. <laughs> That's community better, 2020. <laughs> yeah, because you guys have a lot of great suggestions you for products. You guys do. And I feel like you guys this. know more than us sometimes, a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. It actually keeps us very on our toes. <laughs> on our toes. <laughs> <laughs> 
so that you know we make sure that we're fact checking everything and doing the best we can to give and share with you guys the best information and you know experiences that are backed up by supporting evidence and studies so is there anything you want to mention before we kick into our skincare routine okay so after we talk about skincare favorites and mds we'll talk a little bit about the merch, uh, merch and, and then membership yes we just recently launched membership so with everything that's been going on we're trying to move a little bit further away from sponsorships so that we can just yeah. give you guys quality quality content but yeah. that comes at the expense of yeah it's just a very interesting and weird time right now yes. and we'll also explain to you how we as a channel function yeah. and why we don't get we any... have a small lean team and we belong yeah. to a nonprofit media company which we'll get into um yeah. and then after that we'll talk about the more within part the wellness self-care how we've been coping and how we're we and what it means by. to us yeah so without further ado then then that should we uh rock paper scissors Okay. Oh wait, or should we ask like you already told them I was gonna go first. Oh okay. And Rowena goes first. Insert beauty within. Bing. Okay, so you can take over the comments for a bit. Okay. I'm and gonna take away that. Um so the first real empty that I have is the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. You guys know this is one of our tried and true favorites for a really, really long time now. Yes. Um, it has the most like bouncy jelly consistency. Yeah. Super hydrating, not stripping at all. It's super, just, it's so beautiful. There's matcha, hemp seed, matcha high in antioxidants, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B5, which we know is pamphanol. Mm -hmm. Really good for skin, really good for keeping hydration. We did a whole video on that, by yes. the way. Vitamin B3, vitamin B5. So, not, uh, yeah, anything you want to know about vitamin B, we have a video for that. Mm -hmm. And so... I mean, I feel like we talk about this so much. Yeah, so the thing is we have two to three videos about cleansers. And sometimes, especially in the latest cleanser video, yes. we didn't mention the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser yeah. because we felt like, you know, we don't want to sound like a beaten record all the time, yeah. every single video, because we do want to find that balance of suggesting you guys new upcoming products um, in the same like realm of or products. just new products in general. Yeah. yeah. And you guys should know in a way, like going back a few videos yeah. that we repeatedly talk about these OG ones. So this one is like just great. I've, I've bought it for my sister. I brought it back for my mom. Yes. Um, they all have different skin types, different ages, and it just works for everyone um, really well. So let us know if you guys have tried the and to answer hand. some questions leah's working hard to get international shipping, shipping. just know that so that woman is working around the clock trying to make it happen mm -hmm. so that's the the crazy beauty okay next paula choi pa, 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 paula choi paula choice english is hard paula's choice gentle touch makeup remover this is like a dual phase two layer very gentle makeup remover that i swore by it takes off Everything. I remember like the first time you used it, the first time I used yeah. it, we were blown yes. away. It has aloe and green tea water and very easily removes makeup. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. So I like if I'm wearing heavy makeup or if I'm wearing waterproof. Um, On I days that the, we film. Yeah, Dr. E2 How. E2 How. 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 <laughs> I cannot speak how today. <laughs> Dr. E2 How's the makeup. Like the mascara, Dr. Mascara Primer, it like sticks like glue. Oh, and yeah. Oil does not take that off. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll use this first on my eye and then use um, uh, cleansing the pads for the rest of my face. Mm. And the thing is, this doesn't sting or burn. No. Historically, I think, you know, the like Clarins yeah. or the Clinique's, yeah. they had these dual makeup. Yeah. And I it's hated so oily. Them. Yeah. yeah. There's no oil in this, actually. It's just so gentle. It's it blows me away. Am I key? Is it true? Yeah, there's no oil. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's. Um, don't quote me on that. We will find out. But <laughs> this is great. It's very hydrating, very soothing, great for people with all skin types, including sensitive skin. Yeah. And this is already my second bottle, and mm -hmm. I'm I'm saving it. I think it's good because um, the comments just disappear. Okay, no, they're still there. Um, it's. Yeah, it's great that we're just staying indoors now and we don't need to like wear any makeup so I don't have to use this. Yes. Yeah, so you don't need to use you this to if replenish. you don't wear makeup, yeah. I feel like. You just can go in with a cleanser. Some of you ask, 
if you need to double cleanse if you don't wear makeup no simply you do not to just go in and cleanse your face so this is called the paula's choice gentle touch makeup remover it is mm -hmm. great and after the live we'll link everything down below do you have a dupe for that you think for because some touch. people are saying Paula's Choice is a little bit expensive um do you have another like makeup remover oh I really love simples but then they might mm. have discontinued it or I know they they sold it at CVS for a bit and then mm. they also had it um on Amazon it's simples eye makeup remover it worked mm. so well but because it wasn't easy to find at drugstores as it was before I just started using this but simples is really really good I just mm. hope they didn't discontinue it that was also like a water concoction yes. or a micellar um it's more like water oil I believe okay all right um, all righty next let's just go through these quickly because I've already talked about these a lot next is the Ciroars time is running out miss this is already my third one um when did we mention this we mentioned like this in a couple of ago. thousand other videos <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have been following along you know this is like one of my favorites and you'll know that like the oil is like a combination of macadamia <laughs> i don't remember off the top of my head but then the water it's like based off of seasons yours will have um like it's like different. seasonal fruits yeah like spring summer will be a type of plum and then fall winter will be like a different type but it's all like fruit high in antioxidants mm -hmm. um oh we were talking about this when we mentioned streamlining oh your yes skincare routine because this is not just a mist it's got yeah. that oil yes. occlusive quality um so it's way more nourishing to the skin than just your average mist <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> super refreshing super hydrating i think everything i'm going to talk about is very hydrating yeah so that if you guys want more info can check out our older videos that we'll link down below yeah all right next this a more pacific just it this one surprised me i got this specifically for the dupes video affordable dupes yes make sure you Two check that three. out and it's just i can't stop using it wow. i keep going back it's to really it. almost done yeah so because i already have it i'm gonna use it mm. um do you need to pay 95 dollars for a toner definitely not there's a lot of dupes mm. that are i think that are just what's a dupe or a couple off the top um, of your head isn't tree has one that's really good and isn't trees toner um that, I think that was the winner from our dupes video. Mm, yeah, isn't tree. Okay, so isn't tree dupe. Make sure you check yeah. out our latest affordable dupes video. I think it's video. the third, the third one. It might be the third. Uh, Dev help. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah, again, this is just it's like splashing water on your face. It absorbs into your skin so quickly, and I feel like my face is just so plump Ooh, and juicy. Someone and said the I'm from mugwort essence. Ooh, yeah. Is it similar to this? I'm not I sure. have not tried the essence, but I've used the mask and it's really great mm. for calming inflammation. Okay, answering a f one question, do you still need to double cleanse if you wear sunscreen? It depends. Yes and no, it I depends mean, you, on your sunscreen. You can. Yeah. I think it's recommended that you do, but... As long as you, if you're just using a cleanser, that you really get the makeup, I mean the sunscreen off, then it should be fine. Okay. So many questions to answer right now. Wow. Okay. So you need else... to focus on question while I talk. Yeah. Someone else said cut. mug what essence is really good. So check that out from I'm from. I'm from is a I'm brand from, new one. Yes, Korean brand, and they source a lot of their ingredients from like very nice places in Korea. Like yeah. High mountains. It's like all deep about seas. Just yeah. make that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the jungles. The jungles. Of the Korea. mist in the jungles. <laughs> like capturing in a vial <laughs> bottle the amazon mist <laughs> anyhow <laughs> okay um yeah. uh okay so you keep an eye on the comment i will yeah. continue so the last one that i have is the dr jart seco pear cream so this is the one that is thicker compared to the gel so if i was going to talk about the gel in a bit um but look at how used and abused mine is <laughs> it's literally to the last um to the last drop and we all know the, the benefits of centella asiatica it's very soothing especially for inflammation and yeah. redness 
Um, and but the Dr. Jot also has that um, Jot biome oh, technology yes. in and all their products. We know that biome is great for our skin's microbiome to help keep it healthy, and it's great for the skin barrier. So I feel like, uh, especially the past couple of months, just winter, my skin gets really, really dry, and this does a really amazing job at just harmonizing and neutralizing everything on my face. Mm. And it got like sensitive for a bit. Mm. My skin isn't really usually sensitive, mm. but yeah. So this this is really really great. Mm. Is the Dr. Jot one thicker than the Purito Centella? Yes, the Purito Centella is more like water. Mm. It's a bit more um, lighter. It's a bit more refreshing. But that being said, this is on the the texture is a bit thicker. But then it's like a it's like a, I feel protected and you're my friend. It's not like a thick I can't breathe. Mm, yeah okay so it still goes on really really nicely okay so someone says apparently the purity that you love is a dupe for the dr jot one I haven't you heard that one. the purity? purity the yeah no it's called purity that you love oh apparently that's a dupe for this Ooh. so there are a lot of dupes for this because i think this is 48 a little under 50 mm. So there's a lot of dupes for this. There's a lot of dupes because a lot of products have Centella now. Yes. Um, but I think when you buy this, you're buying into the Dr. Jot technology and yeah. innovation. Oh, because that man is all about art, tech, branding, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was the name again? Dr. Jot is like art and another word formed together. Do you remember? <laughs> okay, you can go. Okay. And then... Okay, guys, so that was Rowena's, oh, like, you should try dry, and dehydrated. Your phone, but I don't know if uh, you should close your vibration on oh. your phone because I think it's vibrating, but it's okay. Oh. Hello. I'm sorry. This is our intermission. Uh, blip. Okay. 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 okay um, so, guys, that was Rowena's dehydrated, dry um skincare empties and favorites. okay as a as an intermission let's just show them a meme <laughs> all right <laughs> meme times <laughs> and died <gasps> roses are red april is gray the next time you leave your house it's gonna be mad <laughs> I mean, we laugh, but the the situation is is uh, dire. Yes, it's dire. Uh, I'm looking up the doctor chart thing. Okay. You. So um, yes, if you guys have any questions about any of the products, we're gonna leave it all below after we finish um, this live in the description. Um, but keep your questions coming. Thank you so much for staying on all. 700 and something of you. of you. That's crazy. <laughs> um, we hope that it's not too early slash too late cutting into your beauty sleep. Yes. But you know, once a month <laughs> is not that bad. So a few people have been asking about KP. We've done a video all about body care. Yes. So ch type in beauty within body care. Body care. We have we got you with that. One to two. Yes, the chicken skin that you all yes. talk about. Paula's Choice has a body moisturizer that has a little bit of retinol that actually helps to dissolve the blocked follicle that causes um, that like skin condition. Um, and even one of our Beauty Within members mm -hmm. has it on her arm and so we gave it to her but I never followed up on whether that like yeah. actually worked or not but we have a whole body care video guys we have a video on a lot of things yeah so if body you have care. any questions you can beauty within and then your thing yes and we fun. have a lot of playlists yeah and someone asked about fungal acne do we have something on fungal acne oh so when we were doing the thrive market fungal acne is a different sort of bacteria like yeast and bacteria on the face so you can't use a lot of acne ingredients that you would use for blemishes yeah. so i think something safe is azelaic acid um and it's it's a dietary thing um so we'll also link that yeah. underneath we'll list. and leah you has a really good video on that yeah she you said like a full video on it yeah um one of her hacks was that you can use the heads and shoulders shampoo mm -hmm. on your face yeah because there's something there's an ingredient in it that helps with fungal acne. But anyway, we, we I completely know the confusion about fungal acne because nothing seems to work and it just keeps like almost yes. purging out. 
Um, but we can definitely make a video on that. Um, all right, anything else before we move on? Dr. Jar is the fusion of skincare, science, and art. Skincare, science, art. All right. Um... All right. Hey, your turn, go. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna look at, um... Okay, guy. <laughs> okay, guy. <laughs> so these are my new finds. Um, yeah. Be a little more concise than... <laughs> Um, Bella can talk until the cows come home. About skincare, yeah, about whatever. Let's try to keep this. Okay, you have three minutes. Okay. So, a new, um, just to start off, I have like sensitive, oily, and acne prone skin. So, a lot of the products that I'll be mentioning are very soothing and calming, which is like being the same. See, some of them just ask anything for sensitive, oily skin. We got you. This is your girl. Yes. So, everything is perfectly great for sensitive skin so i'm just gonna go into it this is the holly frog cleanser that we got sent um their entire line of different cleansers so i think they only really focus on that this one in particular is the superior omega Nut nutritive gel wash okay so it's this one here and why i chose this one apart from the other ones which were like ha um there's also like a mild scrub this one just seemed to be very balancing, which it says balancing and probiotics because in the ingredients, there's lactobacillus um, and lactobacillus like the Dr. Jar. I like how is... you're talking to me. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not She's answered, I promise. <laughs> no, I completely oh. understand. Um, lactobacillus is like the probiotic that works together with our skin's microbiome just to help um, repair any damaged skin to rebalance dry areas, oily areas, and it's something that you can use every day in morning. And I just really love the consistency of this. It's um, it's like a gel, you know, kind of like this. Not like a gel like the Crave. It's much more, what would you say? Just like, it's kind of mucusy. Oh, wait, what is, is this? a cleansing? Yeah, this is a cleanser. And the pH for this is 5.5, meaning that it's like almost the same as your skin. Yeah. Um, which means that it's very... It's good for just rebalancing. It's not going to um, strip of natural oils. So this isn't anything that's going to life change. Yeah. But it's just those dependable everyday cleansers that oh. we always talk about. So yes. you can even try it. Yeah. Um, it's in the same vein as like Crave mm. type cleansers. Balance and probiotics. Yes. So if you guys are into probiotics, there you go. Dude, I think like there's probiotics in everything now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you see lactobacillus, then that's the bacteria. Um, it's good bacteria. You know, our gut has good bacteria. Our face has good bacteria. Um, we all have different microbiomes and pH levels on different areas of our skin and body. So these ones that are formulated will just help with that. Okay, moving on. Oh, and as a little, a little mini intermission, make sure you do like, subscribe, and comment below. Yes, 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 yes. yes. 23 okay. minutes in and we're saying this. <laughs> we'll keep reminding you. Yes. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, sorry for putting you off really quickly. We just shared about our skincare, my skincare empties. Belle's going through her favorites and then we're going to talk a bit about like the current state of our channel. That sounds really intense, but it's not. We it's promise not. we're going to talk about merch. We're going to talk about channel membership, membership and why we're launching all of that. And then we're going to talk a bit about wellness and self-care. Just a few things that yes. we've been doing while at home. Yes. So for those who are, <laughs> for those who are tuning in just now, hello. Thank you for being here. And you have the mic again. Okay. <laughs> so then continuing on, we have Paula's Choice. This is the CBD Skin Ooh, Transformative so Treatment Milk. Yeah. Okay, so what this is, I was using it as a serum, but just the consistency of it is so delicious. It's like a milky, very lightweight, milky consistency. Oh, yeah, do that live oh, hand rub. wow. Yes, right? It just sinks into the skin. Um, there's nothing, like, pungent about it. And it's the a reason bit herbal. Well, yeah, because it's got the, it's like, it's nine, the sleepy thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that has never been, because it's one of those like ingredients that really got pushed. Yes. And there was not a lot of scientific evidence supporting that it could really help. And so I think both of us just really kind of stayed away from it. Um, but we got sent this to try 
and wow, it is amazing. You can mix it in with a serum, you can mix it in with a moisturizer, but I just use it alone after toning. Um, and it's just so calming. It's for soothing, stressed and reactive skin. And sometimes, you know, either when we go ham on like HAs or VHAs, our skin becomes like oddly combination, not because it's actually combination, mm -hmm. but because we stripped it dry mm -hmm. um, or there's just not enough hydration. Um, these kind of soothing and calming ingredients are great. So it's also good for anti-aging and anti-aging just means you're nourishing the skin. So because I have sensitive skin, I can tell you for me anyway, that this has worked marvelous, 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 So now you can see this talk, you'll see how chaotic um, some of our recordings sit together. Oh God, yeah. You guys just see like the, the, the cut and clean. Yeah. yeah, but this is the real deal, uh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but so if I think you're looking into, I don't know, I think it's just the textural component that makes this so like great to use. Yes. So that's that one. Super fast absorbing. Okay. Um, someone's asking, wait, what does it do? I don't get it. Okay. Treatment milk. What's a treatment milk? Treatment milk. It basically calms down inflamed skin. So if you have redness, if you have dry patchy areas, mm -hmm. if it's like itchy because of dryness, and you just need to repair the skin barrier, this is what this helps with. To calm that all down, soothe it, and the key ingredient is CBD or hemp, and this is something that we haven't tried, and so using this one for the first time has really helped, I think, just calm my skin down. And you know that like um, dryness around my nose? Yes. It's gone. Yeah. It's still dry, from but this. I think it's just dry. Yeah. yeah, just from the combination of everything. Okay. Someone really quick question. Um, uh, acne scars. Acne scars. How to get rid of acne scars. Oh. Acne scars. Scars. Stars. Ding. Three, three <laughs> ingredients. Um, niacinamide. Okay, so niacinamide, yes, as a gentle everyday ingredient. You can also use AJs, which help to resurface gently the top surface of your skin. So if it's just a mild acne scar, it will eventually go away anyway. So when you use AJs, you're just kind of speeding up that process. Um, and then you can even try hmm, azelaic acid. I really love azelaic acid, which is a very calming, soothing ingredient. Great for sensitive skin if you can't use AJs. So niacinamide, AJs, azelaic acid. Do you remember how much this is? I think it's 40 something. That's a penny. Mm. So the thing with Paula's Choice, I feel like there's a lot of really great items. Mm -hmm. They're not the most affordable, but because all their products really just do what they claim yeah. to do. It's and there's very nothing different. extra. There's no more, no less. It's right. Porsche, that's just right. Yes. Like there's no um, fragrance and stuff yeah. like that. And they have a whole kind of dictionary outlining yes. ingredients as a resource if you guys want to look into more um, ingredients, I guess. Okay, anyway, moving on. Bing! So this is the basically the gel cream version Okay, of Rowena's cream. So it's a lighter version. It's got basically everything that the um, cream has, except in a lighter formulation. So if you guys are into gel moisturizers, which we also have a video all about, um, if, you, if you have oilier skin, if you have combination skin, or if it's in the summer and you want something lighter, this is a great option. Key ingredient, Centella Asiatica, great for soothing, calming, um, inflamed skin. Everything is good for like redness. I think all this is great for redness and irritation. Um, but yeah, because we already talked about it here, I'm not really gonna go into this here, but it's not sticky, it just sinks into the skin, but it still gives it enough hydration. But definitely use your toner and serum um, if you have like- how, how is this compared to other favorite water creams or gel creams? Um, it kind of holds up. Um, it's not as like watery and doesn't leave a greasy <laughs> feeling. You know, it's funny. Like, oh god, it's a lot. Some people oh, say, "Oh, it's so beautiful." Yeah, it's like a little I dollop. Feel too much. It's great. Ooh. Mm. So it doesn't leave any greasiness. Um, okay, so to give you guys like a side by side compare. Oh god, it's sliding. This is the gel cream, and then this is the. It's literally almost gone. <laughs> it's a oh. real. Oh, it's a real empty. It's the, this is the difference. This is the 
cream. This is the gel. Beautiful. Yes. Now my hands will be very. So just depending on your skin type, right? Um, Try skin this mm. or reskin this. Okay, so that's about it. And I just want to quickly introduce you to these only because you know how you really love the tranexamic acid yes. inky list. So there's a brand called Clearly Basics, and they came out with um, a dark mark defense discoloration corrector. Defense with... against the dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> it's this one here. Be mentors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the key ingredient of this is tranexamic acid. And I only want to introduce you to this because it's an ingredient that not many other skincare products have yeah. for hyperpigmentation yes. for sensitive skin. Ah. Yeah, so you know how we have like hydroquinone. Ah. What's another skin lightening? Um, I'm drawing a blank here. You're putting me on the spot. Yeah, like hydroquinone, it can be super irritating. Um, lemon, that, juice. lemon juice. Lemon <laughs> juice. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh, ever. So, yes, tranexamic acid has proven studies to um, mock the effects of um, what do you call it? those skin lightening ingredients that do tend to cause irritation, but without the irritation. So check out Clearly Basics. It only comes in this little tube, but I think it's definitely... What is this name? This is... It's called Clearly, Clearly Basics. Clearly Basics. Yes. And honestly, I fell in it's love... It's not focusing. It's, you're like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> old school, like, yeah. skincare thing. But they also have this Lighten Up Cream, which is anti-redness, which has calendula. So I just really love all the ingredients that they use to formulate these very simple... Um, simple products for very like very simple skin concerns it's just very easy so it's like if you have redness if you have hyperpigmentation there's very specific products and this one if you're getting into retinol is a retinol and azelaic acid combination for acne prone skin and this is for nighttime use only so it's like a night treatment to help clear out blocked pores you know when we like overproduce sebum um and i love azelaic acid i love retinols so if you're looking into something um trying that out in your skincare routine for the nighttime, this is a great first step without the irritating effects of retinol and it's kind of like a skincare combination that works azelaic acid and retinol same with um retinol and niacinamide yes yeah so there we go. That's our skincare favorites and finds. New finds. Yes. Um, so yes, where are we now? Uh, thank you, Becky. Is First Aid Beauty good for maintaining? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think First Aid Beauty is like a very great go-to. Yeah. No frills, no funny business. Yeah. Trustworthy friend. Yeah, because they, formulate, they formulated all their products to help maintain the skin barrier, repair the skin barrier, because colloidal oatmeal is one of their highlight star ingredients. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're 30 minutes, 32 minutes into the show. Let's do a little pivot to talk about merch. Merch and membership. Okay, so basically the we we have sponsorships because we run the channel right and then the channel is part of a media company and so when we get sponsorships we don't we don't get it um it really touch it. yeah it really is for the sake of generating content for you guys and for the media because that's what we are with. and what that means is like that money doesn't just like disappear it goes to our team we have like a full team of like editors even though it's lean it's very lean but we still have a team of like eight nine yeah oh uh, yeah yeah eight, eight. eight. yes yeah. and that's kind of what it goes into studio production camera <laughs> filming yes camera Actually, crew <laughs> everything that you see takes uh what do you what what's the it takes a village it takes a village <laughs> it and takes a labor of love and a village <laughs> right like the lighting the studios um and so all the sponsorship money that we get we don't take it's, it goes back into the channel to yeah. invest back into the channel. So what things like um, 
memberships do for us is just another way that we can really expand and because right now it's quite hard for sponsorships and we still have to bring in a certain amount so that we can keep sustaining the channel and bringing you guys content and so we set up we wanted to set up a membership system so one that we could connect more with you guys and be more of a community and let you guys share things while we also simultaneously share with you but also fun find fun ways to interact maybe one-on-one -on -one, share product knowledge um, and so we set up a we set up a three-tier system um, so just depending on which tier and your own situation and what you want more from us you can select um, different tiers so what's the first one so the first one is 499 and you get um, more content so you get like beauty within wallpapers but creating more kind of like personalized branded stuff that you can use mm -hmm. um, and then you also get what's the second one? Oh, I wrote it down here keep going and I'll I'll intersplice for a second here all of your guys' qu comments questions we're looking at them if you have anything about skincare leave it in the comment section below and then we'll try to get to it or we'll incorporate it in future videos mm -hmm. so we're not ignoring you guys yes promise. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a lot of comments to look yeah. through <laughs> um and then you'll get early access to things like merchandise for the rest of the year we intend to keep coming out with Beauty Within products. Um, you guys always ask about our green headband. So we're gonna answer it now, it's from Versed, but you can't get it anymore. Yeah. So we wanna create like more products like that, that you guys love. Um, and so you can get early discounts through that tier. Um, and then it goes all the way up to a more expensive tier, depending on how personalized you wanna get with us. Um, and so, we wanted to share with you guys products like this that we get sent mm -hmm. and give you guys the opportunity to also test it out, give us your reviews, and then we can then use your reviews to incorporate it in future videos. And so you guys can also be part of the testing of products family. Mm -hmm. This has to be an update. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we also want to connect a little bit more. So we're thinking of how can we do like one-on-one -on -one chats or maybe even like do workshops or like group chat, but yeah. in, a, in a more intimate setting. Because we mentioned this briefly in our live on Instagram. Mm. We Our goal for 2020 was to see you guys more. Like yeah. Physically like, hi, Touch. we love you guys and appreciate you guys. Oh. But with everything that's been happening, yeah. it's just, it's, it's made us think outside of the box. Yes. Inside because, and outside. Yeah, we were going to do a meetup with you guys in New York City, um, but all those plans obviously got cancelled. And so this is just us um, finding more ways, sustainable, like long-term ways to connect more with mm -hmm. you guys. So we're going to leave everything, all the questions that you have, leave them in the description afterwards. And then you can, when you click in to see perks or join, you will see like a... A full menu on of what you can expect from the different tiers. Yes. So it's that join button next to the subscribe button. Yeah. So when you click that, you'll see all of yeah. our offerings, all of our perks. And this is really us just trying to give you guys more, trying to connect with you guys, and even push ourselves to expand. Um, oh, yeah. It's uncomfortable. uncomfortable. We've been very comfortable where, where we've been, yeah. but this is a good push. Yeah. And also with the, the membership, you guys will get um, first dibs on launches and discounts on merch. Yes. So for example, so merch. <laughs> you, if you're, if you're um, in the membership now, you get 20% off all our t-shirts, hoodies. Um, and thank you for everyone who's yeah. bought the t-shirts or any of the merch. I feel like we haven't said anything at all on YouTube yet. But we haven't. We have merch! Yeah. Shop. <laughs> Beautywithinofficial.com. Yeah, so there's a video coming soon. We did like a whole little fun photo shoot and interview. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll all be very soon. So let's move on to now a little bit of how life has been at home, what we've been doing to stay sane, what you yes. guys, like let's just ask you guys, what's something new that you've done while in self-isolation, whatever you want to call it at home, that you're grateful for having this opportunity, even though things are going wild outside. Um, you know, like, because I think we always gave ourselves this excuse that we were too busy, we were outside, we have work, we have to do all these things. But now that we're kind of, it's like a forced 
like inward looking. It's like, what's something that you guys have come to realize or appreciate while during this time? Um, so just a quick like description about us. We were together self isolating because we still have to create content for you, YouTube, yeah. for you guys. Um, but I also go back and forth because we have to film at our own homes yeah. as well. So we're still in the process of like um, figuring, figuring out, out yeah, the structure yeah. of videos. But I don't think it'll be anything too different to what you guys see because most of the B-roll and the footage that you see, we're filming we're at home anyway. Home. Yeah. <laughs> you just won't see the studio as much. Um, but everything that you see up till now was, you know, we film months ahead, one, yes. one month to two months ahead. Yeah. Um, so yes, what's something that like, I don't know, the transition? The transition? Yeah, I feel like there, <laughs> there isn't really a transition. Um, I think I'm very grateful and I feel like we're really lucky that this is something we can do anywhere. Mm. So that is one thing that I'm just like very, very thankful for. Mm. Um, but that being said, I feel like our day to day hasn't changed too much mm. in terms of the workload. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's still about the same. We're just at home. Yeah. Um, and it's not a good or bad thing. It's just what it is. Um, but I think like I enjoy staying home and being home all the time. We're mm -hmm. both naturally hermit, hermit homebody grandmas. So that's <laughs> what we prefer to do anyway. Um, and it's nice that like no obligations now and like less, you know, to go out yeah. and socialize. Or, like, feel bad instead of like FOMO, it's JOMO, joy of missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Perspective, people. Yes. Um, no, but I think, yeah, I think not much has changed in that sense, but it's nice that we can still keep busy yeah, and do the things. Oh yeah, definitely. Doing. I think like our hearts really go out to people who have jobs like in hospitality or, you know, if you're going to school and then all of a sudden it's like this shock to the system where you have to yeah. be confined to these like four walls all the time. And so I think there's definitely a lot of like hardship that comes with that. You almost have to relearn like who you are without everyone around you. And how to be by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and that's a scary thing. And I think like it hasn't been much of a transition mentally or physically for us. It's more the physical part. Um, but because we have up till now always focused in on our own like thoughts through meditation, through just like self-awareness, through self-care, like mindful, whatever you want to call it, that's like the journey that we've always been on. And so I think maybe this is like a, a blessing in disguise almost, I think, um, of like self growth in, in a, like in a way, you know, like through realizing you, um, as a person without everything else and going out and finding distractions that were very easy, you know, like I'm bored, let's go out and get dinner. I'm bored, let's go meet this person. But now it's like you really have yourself to focus on, which I think is actually a very beautiful thing. Um, and so for me, I think what I really gained in the last like month or so is just reconnecting and finding um, that value in reconnecting with a lot of people that I just didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and then realizing that there are people out there, even though you don't talk to a lot, that still show that they care, you know? So like taking the time at the end of the day to talk to parents and it's not just kind of like annoying. Hi, yeah. bye, I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> or like, yeah. And then you can actually, I find that the, the conversations I have with my friends now can be much deeper. You know, because oh, yeah. we're not just always talking about very superficial things that happen yeah. on the surface. We're all like simultaneously going through. We all, all have stuff. time now. Yeah. We all have more time. To really reflect on a lot of things. And to dig mm. and to look inward. Yeah. And to, and to really juggle that balance between um, consumption from like out, out external um, like content, like news or just what people are saying. Yeah. Um, and not taking that for our own thoughts, you know, like being aware that our thoughts are just our thoughts and yeah, understanding ourselves in a whole different way. <laughs> What's yes. some like, um, so a lot of people are cleaning. Mm. A lot of people are taking time for themselves. 
a Good lot of uh, solo walks and bike rides. Ooh. If you can, if you guys can still go out, that's. I feel like most places can kind of ish still go out, so that's. Yeah, good. let us know where you're from and like what, what are the restrictions. Like yeah. Um, you know, it's we were talking Someone's about playing the cello. Oh, nice! Someone's oh my very gosh! Into BTS. Best time Army. for um, <laughs> instrument learning. <Yeah. laughs> Taiwan, great. Oh, playing with my dog. Okay, and one thing, our team just let us know that on your mobile, you can't see the membership button. So what you can do is just open the, the description box and mm -hmm. then it'll be one of the first links for the channel membership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And someone asked, is it just to support us or do you guys get something out of it too? You guys definitely will get a lot out of membership. Yeah. It's not just to support us. We yeah. wouldn't do that to you guys. Yeah. We want to give you guys as much value. The as whole point is giving you guys more. Yeah. And expanding our content and what we offer you guys. Yes. Yeah. Because it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yes. Um, Jomo. Yes, Derek Jomo. Oh my god, face masking. And it's like, really at this point in time, I think skincare can be taken as self-care. It is. Oh my gosh. Like, have you guys tried any new skincare tools or techniques that you've been meaning to? Or like share with us, share with yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> have you? Um No, I think it's more just like taking the time to actually do it. Yeah. yeah. Or, or um experiment with different uh, products. Yeah. Before it was just like video, 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 but now it's like Okay, so I can actually download it's like, some stuff. Wake up, brush teeth, rush out the house. Yeah. Come home. <laughs> take off face, go to bed. Yeah. So now it's like can breathe a little more mm -hmm. and try more products. So that means more videos for you guys. Yay! Yeah. I also like the fact that we can all take more time to um, kind of learn more about our bodies. You know, because now that we're at home, we need to cook more, yeah. we need to make more drinks we need to yeah. find time to find things to fill time mm -hmm. and then i think finding the good things to fill time yeah. like reading um meditating um and just like consuming good things is yeah. very important i think just being mindful and intentional with how you are spending your time there's this really good quote from i think stillness is the key about leisure mm -hmm. and how back in the day the word leisure that um the, the the word the word in Greek means school. Mm. So leisure is not like the leisure that we know now. Like fun, just like just yeah. like doing nothing. Leisure, it's like what you spend your time doing when you're not like learning or when you're not working mm. to like make ends meet. Mm. So it's like creatively speaking, um, just like all of that other. Yeah, how do you spend your free time? Mm -hmm. And then another quote I really love from Ovid, I think like a philosopher, <laughs> is how you spend your leisure. Like, I'm totally butchering this. I'm so bad with words. Okay. I'm so bad with quotes. How you spend your leisure time is a reflection of who you are and like the things oh, yeah. that you value. Um, so I think, you know, taking a bad situation, negative things can happen all the time, but it's up to us of how we reframe it or how we re how Shift we interpret it. Yeah, and what we choose to do, like what is happening out in the world. There's nothing we can do about it. There's some things, but like big picture, like, there's not much we can do, there's not much we can control, but what we can do and what we can control is ourselves and like what we choose to do and how we choose to spend this time. So like Belle said, you know, reading, if you've been needing to look into specific books about self-care, about like fiction books, anything like right now, there's no better time to do and that. The, you know, the feeling that you dread kind of sometimes, it's like, oh, reading. But when you yeah. get into it, you're like, I can't stop. I can't put it down. Yeah. And the goal is just to find something that speaks to you in that capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To develop a new skill, to get a new frame of mind, like books are really great for that. Yes. And my chance is the membership link in the description box is not working. Hey Beauty Within team, can we do something about that? <laughs> we'll be we'll be changing <laughs> let me, that soon. Let me text them real quick. And we okay. Will this stream be available after it's over? Yes. We'll make it public to you all. Um, okay. Anything else about the within part? Um, just 
I think it's important to know that there is a very strong link that the, the within links to the external. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can talk till the cows come home about this skincare yeah um but what truly makes a lot of difference is the effort and the approach and the importance you put into looking after your internal world um whether that's stress whether that's anxiety whether it's what you choose to allow in um it's the relationships and the foods and the nutrition all of that is like so powerful and it affects this um greatly yeah yeah so we can talk about, you know, gut microbiome, like that's all here, but it really is just the first step in clear skin. You know, like we always talk about how to get clear skin, how to calm inflammation. A lot of it, you can um, use this with like a tea, a calming yeah. tea to soothe um, the heat in your body. And we really believe in like the, there's like energy yeah. in our body and you need to find a balance of that. You know, when we get angry, we're heated. It's mm -hmm. like, it's heat. <laughs> and yeah, so so finding calming ingredients for your body will help to balance yeah. that. So it's like self-care is the first step and then skincare goes on top of that. And then like beauty, makeup, all of that is like at the very tip top. Mm. But really feel like the foundation of everything it's is like wellness and you. Mm -hmm. It's about taking care of your internal world so that you can frolic and be beautiful and do beautiful things yeah. in the outer world yeah so taking up your inner world so that you can do well in the world outside mm. yeah and some fun stuff uh oh someone's asking for book recommendations um there's oh my god I'm so, hello <laughs> she did a whole video on that so i think you can if just you guys don't know video. i have a i have a personal channel and then there's a video where i talked about every single book that i love um Two books that I want to read right now. One is Boundaries, teaching, like talking about how to form the boundaries, boundaries. what it's like to not have boundaries and what it is to have boundaries. Mm. And then another book recommended is Play Bigger about Play Bigger. Mm. Yes. Nice. Uh, doing more. <laughs> um, and okay, one fun thing that we've been doing. I don't know if I want to share it. Oh, our video. TikTok? Yeah. Okay, so like one Friday night. In the theme of trying something new, um, Rose actually making a video on this very soon, but we did a TikTok dance <laughs> video. I hope, let's talk over it so we don't get copyright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is in the vein or in the theme of trying something new. Yeah. We also made the Dalgona coffee. Oh, yes. Okay, um, I can show that. Which was an epic success, I tell you. It was so surprisingly easy yeah um we hand whisked it so you don't need a machine like look at that it was beautiful and if you guys aren't used to a huge hit of coffee make sure you get decaf we made it on decaf because she doesn't drink like you know coffee caffeinated coffee and because it's so sweet dude i was so wired even it was decaf because i think we put two packets yeah afterwards i was like yeah and why it's so cool is that the ratio is just one to one to one. It's so it's coffee, two, sugar, two water. Two tablespoon of instant coffee, two tablespoon of sugar. We use coconut, two tablespoon of hot water. You just, and you can see us making it. I'm working on the video right now. It'll be on my channel in a bit. And um, yeah, so we that's... used oat milk too. Yeah. So you, you know, the recipe calls for milk milk. You can use whatever you want to yeah. substitute. And also, See, the recipe, like what everyone's doing, we made a healthy alternative. Yeah. Coconut sugar and oat milk. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Fel also posted a video on her own channel. Oh, God. Yeah. Recently. Yes. About repotting plants and how I felt like I was killing them. <laughs> like in my mind, it's just an, an animation, and they're like, <laughs> like I'm ripping out its head. I'm like holding it here to repot it, and I'm like, <laughs> Just like that. Just like oh, that. it's like grabbing the. Oh my god, did you ever play? Um, it's those suit. The, the carrots. No, it's a GameCube game where Mario goes around like plucking Pikmin. Is it Pikmin? Is it Pikmin? It might be Pikmin. It's not Mario, but it's one of those games. Anyway, you yeah. grab like little and then like carrots, and then yeah, and then they follow you around. Yeah, like in Harry Potter, how they yank the plant oh, yeah. and it starts <laughs> screaming for its life. Yeah. That's just like what I'm like. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but yes, that's my my like once a year video. Yes. No, but she's uh, trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, yes, we'll see. It's a new year, and you know, it's time to it's time to expand. <laughs> so I think that pretty much wraps up our first live, live yeah. for March. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. We tried to incorporate a bit of everything because, yeah, we just don't want to, um, we want to keep you guys uplifted and entertained in these yes. times as well, but making sure that it's quality, still quality content. Yeah. And as with everything, with everything we talked about, um, specifically like membership stuff, if you guys have any suggestions with how you would like us to ramp up even more or to add more features or to do, if you guys have any suggestions, just let us know. We're open. Oh yeah. We're all, every, we're all the, learning. The sky's the limit. Developing we will together. do whatever you guys want us to do. <laughs> and or then we will proceed to not sleep. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yes, thank you so much for tuning in, all of you. And we'll be doing this at least once every month. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Video with it, peace out. And then we have to go to the screen and turn it off. How do we do it? <laughs> Is it cross? Bye. Bye.